So you got yourself an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. You've been playing around with it. You stumbled across this program called Dreamweaver. You know it's to make web pages, but you're not sure where to begin. I've been exactly where you are, and now I'm here to help. I can help you get started with Dreamweaver to create some pretty cool web pages. So let's go ahead and begin. Very first thing you'll need to do is to have a place where you can save all of your Dreamweaver projects. I made a folder called Dreamweaver Projects, pretty self-explanatory. You can call yours whatever you want, but it's one that we want to keep adding to, especially if you're going to follow along this series of tutorials that I'm giving. Uh, the next thing we will do is right click and add a folder. And I'm going to name this folder as getting started, all lowercase, all one word, just for making things easier. And then I will minimize this. Each time we create a new project or a new site, we are going to give it its own folder inside that Dreamweaver Projects folder. All right, now what we need to do is we need to define the site that is going to basically encompass all of our files for this project. We do that by going up to Site and New Site. This little window pops up and then where it says Local Site Folder, we'll click on that and then we want to find where we have our Dreamweaver Projects folder and then we want to select our Getting Started folder. I have that selected and then I will click the button that says select folder. In the site name, we can call this wherever, whatever we want. It's okay if there's spaces in it or if it's capitalized. Uh, eventually, we'll have a list of sites from all the pages that we create. And it's just a way for you to kind of browse through and select the appropriate site that you're looking for. So this one we will call Getting Started Dreamweaver. All right, make sure that your local site folder, that that is the correct path where you want it saved. Double check that and then we'll click save. All right, now our site is defined. We can see over here in local files, it shows that folder that we just defined and created. It's right here. And now we're ready to make our page. So let's go up here to file and we will go to new. And we want to make sure that new document is selected and HTML is selected. And this is just going to be a simple HTML page we're going to make. So up here where it says framework for right now, we will select none. And the title, this is going to be like what will show up in the little tab of your web browser when you open up this page. So we'll call this one intro page. I think that'll work fine. Uh, the document type is HTML5, and then we can click Create. All right, now we are here into our view for this project. Uh, your screen may look a little bit different than mine, so a few things. I tend to use Standard, but you may choose to use Developer. That's fine also, just kind of whatever you want to use for your view over here. Uh, we also have these little options in the top center of our screen. We have code, which shows your HTML code. We have split, which is what I like to use most often. And then this third option is where you have live and where you have design. So live works good, especially when we start adding our media queries and we want to see how everything is kind of laid out. And then we can also switch to design. I kind of bounce back and forth between both of them. Not either one is particularly super accurate. So most of the time what I want to do when I am going to check my page is I just open it up in the folder that I created. So to show you how to do that, let's go ahead and add something onto our page. Here's the body. We can just click in here and we can type in hello world. And we'll put that in there like so. And if I go back to split here, you can see where it's showing some text in here. Nothing special. But then we will go up here to file. 
and save as and make sure we're in our getting started folder which we are and we want to call this index.html and then we'll click save all right once we have that done then we should be able to test this page out so we'll go here to our little folder it says getting started we open that up here's our index file and we open it up and here is our web page so that is the process of defining a site creating your file and saving it as an htm in the next tutorial video we're going to be looking at how to add code uh, to set up our first web page let me know if you have any questions or if you have any problems with dreamweaver and i appreciate you watching and we'll get you on the next video